Earlier this week, I received this text message that goes like this. I hate, hate, hate writing a resume. How do you get started? If that sounds like you, if that sounds like something that you would text a friend or call up or email, then make sure that you stay tuned to this video as I talk about how to face a daunting project. If you truly do not know how to write a resume, this video is not for you. This video is not about learning how to write a resume. This video is about trying to get started writing that resume or just started on any daunting task that's facing you. My friend that texted me, she knows how to write resumes. She's actually charged upwards of $350 for a resume writing service. This was something she was trying to do on her own. She was trying to create her own resume and she was really struggling with it. She was struggling with getting started. I think many of us suffer from this level of frustration when we're faced with this daunting task and and how to get started. We're, we're looking for that, that motivation to get us started. And I'll get into motivation in a couple of moments. I'll talk about that. But for right now, I want you to ask yourself this one question. If you're faced with a daunting task, maybe it's a, you know, it's just sitting down and rewriting your resume, getting it going, or maybe it's possibly applying for a job position out there that's going to require some extra legwork. Maybe it's going to require you gathering some letters of reference or possibly answering some essay type of questions just in the application process itself. If this sounds like you, I want you to ask yourself this one question. I want you to be completely honest with yourself and I want you to think deep about it. And that is, what might you lose if you were successful? See, so many of us, we focus on the flip side of that question. Think about what I would gain if I'm successful in doing all this. Well, what I want to ask you is what might you lose if you're successful in this? You know, in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, this is called ecology. You know, what is the ecology that could be holding you back? Yeah, let me give you an example. I recently worked with an individual who really struggled with applying for a position at a university. The position did require her to go out and gather some letters of reference, which meant she was going to have to go out and contact people and ask them if they could write a letter for her, and she had to get three of these. She also was faced with several different papers, almost essays, that she was going to have to create and turn in along with her application. And she was really struggling with this. And I asked her this question and I said, you have to think about it really deeply. What might you lose if you were successful in obtaining this position? And you know what her answer was? Well, this position, which was actually at a university, was not something that she really wanted to do. Although the money was there and the prestige was there, this was not really something that was in her line of sight as what I would say a job of her dreams. But this wasn't something that she was even thinking about. All she could think about was how daunting the process was. But when we started exploring what might she lose, well, you know what it was that she was going to lose? She was going to lose the opportunity of really gathering the work to get her dream job. And it was funny because once this really kind of came to the surface, also realized that this was not a permanent situation, that she wasn't losing the opportunity for a dream job. If anything, this could actually lead to a dream job in itself with the, the new networking opportunities that were there. This was no small unnamed university. We're talking, you know, one of the Ivy League universities out there. So, but it wasn't originally something that she considered a dream job and this was really what was holding her back. So ask yourself, maybe you're currently still working, and but you're, you're getting ready to step out, and so you're starting to work on your resume, but you just, it's a daunting task, you know how to do it, but you just can't get started. Well, maybe there's some oncology holding you back. And once you start asking this question, what might I lose? You know, and it could be security of having worked with the same company for a number of years, it could be something else. But once you see that come bubbling up to the surface, you can work that out.
Now, you may find that there is absolutely no ecology that is holding you back. It's simply a matter of looking for the motivation. But you have to understand there's no magic bullet when it comes to motivation. You see, motivation, it's not a prerequisite for starting that daunting task. Motivation is simply a process. What you need to do to ignite that spark is to really chunk down the goal. In fact, don't even think of it as a goal. Think about it as a process. So the goal is to complete your resume. That, that's your ultimate goal. Great, you've said it. Throw it out the window. What is it that you need to do to create that resume? Well, the first thing is you're going to have to do a heading. The second thing is you're going to have to create a professional summary. Let's stop right there. Let's get the heading done. Let's get the professional summary done. Let's celebrate a little bit. Now, all of a sudden, the motivation is going to start kicking in because you've got some success there, and that success is going to lead to more motivation. You're going to start feeling better about yourself. So you say, okay, I've got the professional summary down. Now I'm going to start working on my skills, or maybe it's going to be the work experience, and you get a bullet point down. Each little process of creating this resume is what's going to lead to the motivation to starting the next one. So how do you get started in all of this? It's really a matter of sweat equity. It's just a matter of putting your first foot forward and not thinking of it as an ultimate goal of a resume, but thinking of it as an ultimate goal. Okay, I gotta get the professional summary done today. Think of it like this and you're gonna be so much more successful.